Pilots, what is your least favorite airport? Charlestonva, the end is on a mountain, so you get to do a 180 on the edge. I can emotionally accept a crash landing, I have real trouble with a crash after landing. LaGuardia is 100% the worst. There is a reason us pilots refer to it as La Garbage. That miserable, always delayed, overcrowded idiot fills me with such hatred it's unbelievable. Oh, it's your go-home day? Well guess what, one drop of rain just fell in NYC so you're gonna have to eat this 5 hour delay buddy. Have a nice day, gosh darn I hate that place. Corf Norfolk International, is kind of weird to land at. There's heavy crosswinds there a lot of the time due to it being right on the water and you've gotta crab the plane in. Which isn't so bad, but it's not super enjoyable, especially for passengers. Even though it's my home airport, Lax is a pain in the butt. The whole airport has been a construction zone for as long as I can remember, with no end in sight. Jig along and out back Western Australia. Too many rocks. Georgetown Airport. Known as E36 on us pilot maps, located in Northern California. This is why I dislike it so much. It's on a mountain one end of the runway ends on a cliff the other ends 10 feet from some trees the runway has an incline the runway is narrow, bumpy, and a bit short it's in the middle of nowhere. And almost completely deserted if you fornicate up it's not the worst airport in the world, but it's not great either. Mildly related, huge props to the EasyJet pilot who got us on the ground at London Gatwick last night, on the second attempt, despite terrifying crosswinds. I'm not a nervous flyer, but when we were 15 feet from the runway, only for the engines to roar and the plane to climb steeply back into the air, I was definitely feeling pretty tense. The wind was horrible and the rain was driving, and on our second approach, the wings were definitely tilting, but he got us safely and smoothly on the ground. Thanks man, you're a legend. I would love to hear from any pilots who've ever landed at Kai Tak Airport. That must have been a trip. LaGuardia. Hands down. Just a complete pain from 18,000 feet until you're at the gate. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. The airport is packed. The food sucks and it's insanely expensive. There's people everywhere. It's old. Leaving? After 4 MD88s you're cleared to push to spot 29 where you'll call ground 7 times unanswered and then be number 37 for takeoff after convoluted taxi instructions that include several two-letter taxiways and multiple hold short instructions. Also, don't forget to call clearance with your PDC code and get stepped on multiple times. At least when you leave you of checking in with Washington Center to look forward to. Get city pride that nobody is mentioning O'Hare or Minway. I travel often for work and I have heard pilots hate John Wayne Airport and that it's dangerous to fly out of. Luckily that's my choice of airport. Actual pilot here. I'm going to say Newark and LaGuardia. Someone farting in the wind could cause two hour delays up there. But in all seriousness with the congested airspace of you or Lagun JFK any weather in the northeast can cause some serious delays. Every airport has something stupid that goes on that you'll remember forever and think this is the worst airport. But those airports also have their positives that make you think oh this isn't the absolute worst. LaGuardia for starters has a terrible congestion problem and you waste a poop ton of time time just trying to get in and out of your gate. Where this becomes a positive though, all that waiting around makes money for the crew if the clock starts ticking. The expressway visual approach to runway 31 also might be one of the last approaches left in the US that airline pilots get to feel like they're doing something important. The tour up the Hudson at 4000 ain't too bad either. Inside the C and D terminals, Delta, if you know what you're doing. We get a 30% off discount on all the food stuff which actually ends up being a pretty good deal at the food by the pound stations. Now if you have an overnight at Ulga, the hotels surrounding the airport are some of the most dilapidated, dirty, pieces of poop I've ever stayed at, except for the Spring Hill Suites of course. I've also been on a one mile shuttle ride that has taken 45 minutes. Lax? Same congestion problems as LaGuardia but this time you feel like you're inconveniencing act by trying to taxi around the airport. The drive to the terminal from the hotels, just like LaGuardia can take forever. Food choices inside the airport? I swear they pay people to stand in line just to make everything 20 people long. San Diego? It just slams you in from way too high of an altitude and it's all hands on deck trying to get the plane slowed. But once you're on the ground, it's freaking San Diego, a vacation from the rest of the US. DFW? 
A drop of rain causes the entire airport to close down. It's cold right now, the deusing program the airport has can best be described as a goat rope once you're inside the airport, some of the best food variety at any airport in the system. At least I think so. The train system ain't too shabby either. Minneapolis MSP, freaking air traffic controllers let a manatee pick what runway you're assigned for takeoff and landing and sometimes the manatee changes its mind at the last second. Minneapolis causes me more headaches with switching runways than any other airport I can think of. Another airport though that has awesome food inside the terminal. Newark U? Fornicate everything about Newark, last time I was there, I was standing in line at the Wendy's outside security and a guy asked me if this is the line. I said yes, he said okay and cut directly in front of me. Freaking Newark. Charleston West Virginia Charlie West, yeah this airport is built where airports should be built. Windy, short runways, and freaking bumpy. You'll never have a good landing here. The airport sucks inside too. But with all that being said, downtown Charleston is fun as heck and one of my favorite layovers. Speaking of which, last year the safest year ever for commercial aviation ever, two pilots were killed flying a cargo plane on contract for ups while landing at CRW. The airport had bad weather and they were just trying to get in the best they could. Happened back in May. Airline is called Air Cargo Carriers and the plane was a shorts 330. Detroit, if you have to go from Terminal D to Terminals A, B, or C, you might as well bring a Sherpa with you. In the A terminal they used to have a Hungry Howie's and a Taco Bell. They close these and replace them with some artisan poop that's expensive as heck. Detroit is also really good at having you fly past the airport and then go all the way to Toledo before turning you back towards the airport. Another airport where runway selection is random at best too. They have a great deusing program though. Ord? Best food in any airport emo. Worst airport though for taxing, you land on the north runway and 69 hours later you get to your gate which is occupied. The ground controllers put you in the penalty box and you sit for another half hour. This is one of the only airports where you don't have to read back a taxi clearance. Toronto Pearson Yais, slipperiest runways and taxiways I've ever been on. Also at least for the US terminal, kinda bad food options. They also utilize air stairs for some of the regional flights. This is great for when it's minus 10 out and blowing snow. Montreal Yule? Everyone speaks English but if you prefer French, you can put it in your flight plan notes and the controllers will communicate to you in French. They never ever refuse to speak to you in English. You'll always land on runway 24R, always take off 24 liters. The end, one of the easiest airports to fly in and out of. Denver half of the state of Colorado seems to be the airport. This airport takes forever to get anywhere. Also fornicate your happy music in the tram. Atlanta just renamed the airport Delta and don't let anyone else in. If you ever want to know what it feels like to be bullied in grade school again, go fly in there without having Delta written on the side of your plane. Minway, just don't hit the houses. My least favorite airports though? Any airport in the mountains in Latin America. You ever want to fly into the side of a mountain? The controllers down there will let you do it. These are some of the most heads up airports I've ever had to fly into. Too much trouble for what it's worth. Edit. Thanks for the gold, here's some bonus opinions about airports. Pittsburgh, nice long runways and a great view of the city when landing to the west. What makes you amazing is the full I think Rite Aid with normal prices at the start of the D concourse. You can have an airport truck drive into the side of my plane every time I come here and I'll still be like, I love you Pittsburgh Rite Aid. White Plains New York. I will swing the first sledgehammer when they decide to knock you down. It's like you built a one-to-one -one scale model of my parents' basement and decided to call it an airport. I'm pretty sure the Bones Brigade movie was filmed on your runway. Thanks also to the arrival that lets me get an entire tour of Long Island. Omaha why do you put all the food outside security? Why? Portland another airport where runway selection is at random, some of the best airport food though in the system. Lots of weirdos walking around. Also overcast always it seems. Las Vegas another airport like San Diego where they like to slam you in from high altitudes. The taxiways aren't exactly on level ground and sometimes that causes the brakes to overheat before you even get the runway for takeoff. Also please fix the odds on the slot machines. Like at least give me one small win. Boston you let three kids in a trench coat design your taxiways.